kwenye makalo ya pindaya ya jukwaa la KTN wiki nyingine njema natumai kwamba wikendi yako ilikuwa salama na wiki yako imeanza vyema karibu sana tukupashe na taarifa ambazo zinagonga vichwa vya habari ambapo kina roho muungano wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya Raila Odinga ametangaza kuwa hana nia ya kuingia kwenye mkataba wa kubuni serikali ya nusu mkate kupitia handshake na rais William Ruto akihutubia wafuasi kutoka uwanja wa Kamkunji punde baada ya kurejea nchini kutoka Afrika Kusini Raila amekariri kuwa hamtambui William Ruto kuwa rais wa taifa kwani ushindi wake haukuwa halali. Raila amesema serikali ya Kenya kwanza inastahili kujiuzulu na matokeo ya urais kukaguliwa upya na kitengo huru kwani duru zimewaarifu kwamba walishinda kwa zaidi ya kura milioni mbili na kuwa walipokonywa ushindi wao. Ameongeza kusema hakuna haja ya kuandaa uchaguzi mwaka 2027 iwapo mambo hayatakuwa yamewekwa sawa kwenye IBC na kuwa mchakato wa kumoni tume mpya ya uchaguzi haufai kuwa uamuzi wa rais pekee katika muktadha huu amepinga madai kwamba palikuwa na njama ya kumuua mwenyekiti wa IBC anayeondoka wafula chebukati na ndio mada ambayo inatupambia sehemu yetu ya swala nyeti hii leo mtazamaji unaona orodha ya mambo ambayo eh, kinara azimio la umoja wa Kenya Raila Odinga ametoa hii leo katika uwanja wa Kamkunji akisema kwamba wiki kesho siku ya Jumapili watakuwa kiandamana katika uh, uh, uwanja wa Jakaranda na ndipo sasa tunakuuliza wewe binafsi kwa kutathmini hali inavyoshuhudiwa nchini kwa hivi sasa nadhani uhasamu wa kisiasa baina ya Raila Odinga uh, muungano wa azimio na upande mwingine serikali unaweza kusuluhishwa vipi unadhani uhasama baina ya serikali na upande wa azimio unaweza kusuluhishwa vipi tuelekezee hisia zako kupitia nambari 2221155 kwenye mtandao wa Twitter at @zubaidakanano @ktnewsk hiyo kitumia hashtag jukwaa la KTN kudadisi swala hili kwa mapana hata zaidi leo studio ni tutakuwa naye Dennis Anyoka ambaye ni wakili na mwelekezi wa masuala ya siasa na uongozi asante sana kwa kuwa nasi karibu sana mwaka mpya uko vipi nashukuru tumeanza vyema naam na kwanza ni sema heri ya mwaka mpya. Naam. Kwako na watazamaji wetu wote. Asante. Na upande mwingine kutoka studio zetu zilizoko katikati mwa jiji tutakuwa naye Martin Nandati ambaye ni mwelekezi wa masuala ya siasa na uongozi. Asante sana Martin kwa kuungana nasi. Habari ya mwaka mpya uko salama? Asubuhi na maneno ya watoto kurudi shule na maneno ya karo na vitabu na masuala mengine kama haya furai kukuona asante sana. Mtazamaji kwanza kabisa tupate kauli aliyoitoa kinara wa Azimio Raila Odinga akiwa uwanjani kamkunji kuambatana na ushindi wa William Ruto. First, we as Azimio reject the 2022 election result totally. We, we cannot and we will not recognize the Kenya Kwanza regime and we consider the Kenya Kwanza government illegitimate. Two, two, we don't recognize Mr. William Ruto as the president of Kenya. Hello 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 We don't recognize him and we equally don't recognize any officials in office with him Three We demand that the entire infrastructure and the records of the 2022 elections at the IBC be made public and be audited by an impartial body. A forensic audit of the IBC results and servers is non-negotiable. Four, we demand 
that any attempts to reconstitute the IBC single-handedly by Mr. Ruto cease forthwith so that Kenya themselves can reconstitute the body after full and fair deliberation. Naam, na ndipo sasa akasema kwamba hana nia yoyote ya kuingia kwenye mkataba wa maidiliano na William Ruto katika kuboni serikali ya handshake na akisema kwamba hawatambui hata kidogo waliochaguliwa kitaka wajiuzulu wakati huo huwa amemkosoa naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa kuhusiana na matamshi yake. Kama haya haiwezi kusema na rais wa taifa ati fulani anakuwa anataka huwa fulani hakuna mtu ambaye alipanga njama kama yeye ana ushahidi angempeleka kwa polisi polisi yafanye uchunguzi wale watu washikwe lakini hakuna kitu kama hiyo ilikuwa ni siasa ilikuwa ni siasa sasa wameitisha mimi ati yeye jamani watu ambao wanapenda mambo ya kufanya maandamano ati wanataka handshake sisi nini Nasema hapa leo sitaki mambo ya handshake. Nakuta kwa handshake kwa leo. Hello. Hello. Pili. Naibu wake. Amasiyo na yetu asiji nani nani. Anasema. Anamambia bosi yake divashia mimi raila minta dila ye. Kila mara anayetisha diye ye ni mtoto wa maumau ni mtoto wa maumau kwa hivyo ya tako mbia ye alikuwa ajazaliwa yule ambali tetea maumau ni kutea maumau kwa jela ni jeramugi oginga odinga Naam, ndipo sasa mtazamaji tunakushirikisha kwa kuuliza unadhani huu uhasama baina ya serikali na upande wa azimio unaweza kusuluhishwa vipi? Unadhani uhasama wa kisiasa baina ya azimio na serikali unaweza kusuluhishwa vipi? Endelea kututumia jumbe zako tutakuwa tukiziangazia muda usio kwa mrefu. Wakati haya kijiri, Rais William Ruto alikutana na kufanya kikao na wabunge wa chama cha jubili waliopo na wale wa zamani katika ikulu ya Nairobi mapema hileo kwenye mkutano huo ambao pia ulihudhuriwa na naibu wa Rais Rigathi Gashagwa. Rais Ruto alifanya mazungumzo ya ushirikiano na wabunge kama vile Sabina Chege, Kanini Kega na wabunge wa bunge la Afrika Mashariki David Kiaraho wa Olkalau, Irene Joki wa Bahati, Shadrack Mwiti wa Imenti Kusini miongoni wa wabunge wengine. Mkutano wao ulijadili zaidi ushirikiano wa karibu na wabunge hao. Rais William Ruto ametia sahihi mswada wa kufanyia marekebisho tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IBC wa mwaka 2022. Mswada huo ambao ulipitishwa na bunge la seneti Juma lililopita unalenga kufanyia mabadiliko jopo la uteuzi ambalo hushughulikia kujaza nyadhifa zilizoachwa wazi kwenye tume ya IBC. Hatua hii sasa inatoa nafasi ya kubuniwa kwa jopo la uteuzi ambalo litawateua makamishna wapya wa IBC. Mswada huo unapendekeza tume ya huduma za bunge kuwa na nafasi mbili, baraza la dini kuwa na nafasi mbili, tume ya huduma za umma kuwa na nafasi moja, nafasi nyingine moja kwenda kwa kamati ya vyama vya kisiasa pamoja na shirika la mawakili kuwa na nafasi moja. 
waliokuwa makamishna wa IBC Abdigulie na Boya Mulu leo walifichua kina kilichosababisha mgawanyiko katika tume ya IBC. Gulia alisema walikuwa wamelazimishwa kumtangaza kinara wa azimio kama mshindi au wa Kenya wareje Debeni kwa mara ya pili ili kuzuia ghasia za baada ya uchaguzi. And uh, in this in those visitations uh, at first we were asked to go slow on the process we had seven days we should not fast track and complete the process which was uh, um, not very uh, clear to us why that was being made and uh, thereafter we had visitations from uh, other senior uh, elders or citizens of the country and uh, to the effect that in the 17th chapter the 17 paragraph uh, where we were being asked to put to the interest of the country are the visitors the one mentioned in paragraph 17 yes all right then go on yes and uh, we were asked to look at the bigger picture the commission does not operate in a vacuum and uh, we were being asked to ensure that uh, the country is, 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 uh, is holding together uh, and so the impression or the rather the request that were being made was to make decisions in a certain manner okay. for purposes of trying to ensure the country so in paragraph 18 you talk of moderation then flow to 19 explain that Yeah, we, we had a late night meeting, I think early morning, I should say, visit, the, the visitation that happened as exposed in 17 and 18. Um, and uh, having heard the sentiments of the visitors, uh, the senior citizens, then uh, commissioners uh, had a chance to react to the request that was made of which some of the commissioners were actually uh, of the opinion that they agreed with the senior citizens uh, sentiments ndio matukio ya kisiasa ambayo yamejiri hii leo na ndio yanatupambia sehemu yetu ya swala nyeti hususan hiyo hotuba ambayo ilitolewa katika uwanja wa Kamkunji hii leo awali nimekutambulisha kwa wageni wetu leo studio ni tuko naye Dennis Anyoka mweledi wa maswala ya siasa na uongozi na vile vile